How's it hanging everybody? Welcome back to most excellent adventures. Today we are at Universal Studios. We just had breakfast at Today Cafe. Insert clip here. And uh, we're headed into uh, Nettlewood Cemetery area. That's what I'm calling it. Um, I don't forget the names of the... Vintage or something? Graveyard? We're checking out the scare zones. All the scare zones and houses have been announced. So we're here to look at all those, get our pass holder magnets, and all that good jazz. Everybody else's video is like, this looks tiny. But no, this is really freaking massive. They're leaving the coins and the beads and stuff at people's graves. I guess these are like what mausoleums or something. Speakers behind camo. Evergreen Park. Scooby and the gang. Everybody's out. Stage with a foot pedal. Speaker. Yep, speaker. Got another speaker under some uh, camo. More foliage. Wow, this looks. This is actually filling in very nicely. Like it looked a little bare from what I've seen, but like wow, this actually fills in really nice. Somebody's gonna be having it later. Oh yeah. That right there, so nobody can sit there this time. New magnets. It's got a little scarab on it from the mummy. Got two of them. One for me, one for Sarah. Going on, on the refrigerator. The details are nice. Do not climb. Do not climb. And there's another one right there. Yep, and that's basically where the scare zone ends. This is our favorite scare zone last year with uh, Eddie. Merchandise reveal. It's got the pumpkin lord on it. Yes, this is what I wanted last year. This is what I wanted last year. It was a pumpkin lord shirt. Scares at every turn. They got it on cups. Got the print. I really like the flannel, but I don't want to pay seventy bucks for a flannel. Little boo cups, little boo leggings. Thirty-five bucks for leggings. I guess that isn't too bad. Only the dead need sleep. Universal monsters ornament. If they do not have that shirt, I will walk all the way back over here to get it. All right, Papa Zero, I mean. Fiesta de Chupacabra food booth. And this is gonna be the, what I believe is the Scarecrow Scare Zone. Speakers and walkways. Everybody says that this is probably going to be a barn, so I'm going to go with it. And uh, they got like a bunch of lanterns put up in the trees. Got some lights put up over there. Let's see if I can find some of those lanterns. There they are hanging up in the trees. They're scattered out through. Central Park, Battery Park, whatever you want to call it. And 
there's another one of these. I'm actually standing under it right now because Sarah's getting freestyle drink. Scarecrow food booth. And you turn to the right and you have two more. These are, it looks like Universal Monsters food booths. Kind of like Dracula's castle. Already got some of the lights on for it. It's kind of witchy, yeah, but it's also kind of Dracula looking with the bats and the soul. Crowd levels, this is going back towards DreamWorks destination. Very, very open. I don't know, it's been like this kind of like everywhere we've been walking. Just because everybody's back in school. But these are the crowd levels I like. Another food booth. This one's got blood all over it. Everyone says that it's like colored to like the Chucky, the good guys, like scare zone. But what if this is like to the prison? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. It kind of does look good. Okay. Oh, there's the DeLorean. And that was right in front of Springfield. Big old pumpkin food booth. This is on the bridge that connects you to like Men in Black and London and all that good stuff. Okay, this is over here. Pier 41, so you can see Simpsons over there, Springfield. Well, back here behind this restaurant is what I, I'm calling the witch's bar. You got all these runes, and I'm pretty sure these are gonna light up. They got vines all over them. Lighting rigs. And it's basically the same on the back. Got another column there. Same on the back side. No menus. This is the witch scare zone. Right out front of Fast and the Furious. They haven't added any more props out here. And I'm kind of glad because this turns into a big, big bottleneck. So maybe they learned their lesson from Crypt TV. No house. Oh, wow. <laughs> no house at Men in Black Tent. Instead, there's going to be one over here at Fast and the Furious area. We all know that one's going to be an alcohol tent. And Louis is housing Scare Actor Dining. We will be going to Scare Actor Dining this year. This will be our second Scare Actor Dining. I'll actually film this one. They better have the pumpkin lord in there and so <laughs> Meet and greet with the pumpkin lord. I mean, and just let him eat pizza fries all night. Blues Brothers sitting there. I am. Blues Brothers car mobiles back over there. Irish imports. You got your spooky jack o' lantern scarecrow looking guys on the light posts. Sting Alley, got some meats up here. It's gonna be another food location. Now my only complaint with this is this is gonna be, oh man, you're not gonna be able to move, like Sarah said, crowded. <laughs> More meats. Get things set up back here. This is definitely gonna be a little bar. They already got things lit up. It's gonna be a long line. More jack o' lantern guys. Why aren't you open yet? Jesus. Maize is planted, not corn. Hay bells. What kind of body is back right there? Looks kind of pointy. Hay and pine straw. Oh wow, it's been painted a different color. Well, it looks like they got the food booths down uh, by the Christmas shop put up. We'll definitely go look at those. Let's go look over here. It's like the main attraction. Oh yeah. Halloween festival parade. Tractor crashed. 
Major Sweets Candy Company. Got some new stuff put up. A little booth, pumpkins. Ooh. Look, just because everyone else did it. And we're a fan of little boo. There he is. We're going to go see him over at the uh, All Hallows Eve store. But check out the tribute store. I didn't even notice it. Sarah was like, yo, look at the tribute store. I'm like, whoa. It's orange and black now. Nice. Did you see the, uh, so ready for it to open. The yeah, I did. Those oh, those are just those beads. Those are decorative balls. I got some like uh, Michael's in there. This is fake candy. I guess they don't want it to melt. Like I'm pretty sure those are like rubber balls. This gotta be real candy corn though. Those are beads too. That looks like real candy. Yeah, those might be real. What's on the other side? Do not climb. Someone's gonna be in there, I'm sure. And up there. That's my ease or maze or however you say it. Sorry for my miss wording. Yep. And then they got the cat lights back there on the tent, but killer taste. There's one Major Spitz Candy Company. There's one thing I want to go look at over here on the tribute floor. Oh, this is totally the killer clowns box truck and the Twinkie truck. Tribute store closed. I'm not reading all this, but this is, looks like all the stuff that was pasted on the table. Okay, just like this one, this one here, they look like houses that you trick or treat at. But so does the Scarecrow house. Or uh, food booths whenever you leave the scarecrow uh, scares. Yeah, that's supposed to be a zombie. That's a very stretched out, like, person. Am I supposed to look like cheesy house decorations? Because that's what it's looking like. Dracula. And then we'll see what the last one is. Skulls and the Grim Reaper in the very top. Food booths galore. Looks like we're missing one right there. Maybe they'll bring it, maybe not. But there are already workers inside of these, I guess prepping, getting things set up. As you can see over there, there's a gentleman working on them. Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere and it's raining. Okay, that's that scare zone. All right, we're going to get... All right, so it was raining a lot, so I wasn't able to film in that last scare zone. That's like the Pumpkin Lord scare zone. I hope he makes an appearance. Um, Little Boo is directly in the middle at the very top. Um, I don't know if it's the original Little Boo or not, but hey, we weren't able to film him, but we got the photo. Um, and then... Uh, we went to the All Hallows Eve Boutique. They did have the Pumpkin Lord shirt. Uh, ended up picking it up. We got one of those glass Universal Monster Cups and the uh, plastic Little Boo Cup and the orange tumbler, which is really great quality. Um, and then we also picked up for Sarah, which was new, I, have, I hadn't seen before. Uh, it's the, got the same design on the plastic cup with Little Boo, the skeleton, and the, cat, the black cat. Um, and it's like a slim fit crop top hoodie, but it's kind of thin. Um, we ended up picking up all those and I didn't film any of that because it was still kind of raining and I didn't want to bring the camera back out. Um, but anyways, our next Horror Night videos are going to be, um, our hype lists. Um, and then we'll go over some more details, um, about the scare zones and houses, um, Sorry I didn't know them at the time we were walking through. Uh, they had just released all that information in us in that one day. And we showed up to do our um, our update video. So I didn't even think to look my phone out and talk about the actual name. So I put photos and the descriptions in the videos. You guys saw that. Um, yep, yeah, hype lists are coming up soon. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, that thumbs up button leave a comment down below and uh, remember just be excellent to each other 
party on, dudes. I gotta drive. <laughs>